Hello, here we are again, back for another video. Um, today is another review of the second soap of uh, the soaps that um, Chris, another cut above, sent me, and it's this one, Wolfpack Shaving, and it's called uh, Silk Road. Um, it's a uh, 120 gram uh, container or 4.2 ounces. Um, it's a new artisan shaven soap uh, out of Australia. So uh, I don't know how long they've um, been about. Uh, from what I hear from um, Chris, not long. So I'm going to guess sort of the last quarter of uh, 2016. I've uh, just soaked my brush, which is again the uh, cherry wood handle with the uh, two band badger knot. And again, back for a return shave is the Merca Progress short handle with a fourth shave on the uh, Permasharp Super. So I've, uh, I've bloomed the soap, like I've done the, uh, the previous soap. Um, and this you're looking at the uh, um, consistency of the soap in the tub, it looks like. Um, the uh, OSP soaps, it's quite a strong scent out of the tub, um, also prior to the uh, the blooming. So uh, see how that holds up through the shave. Um, post shave is Thayer's Cucumber Today, Witch Hazel. And swelling the uh, soap, the only nearest after shave or EDT I've got here is, uh, you can't really see it. It's an Avon um, Wilderness Destination, sort of a green kind of scent, obviously green, but it's a green kind of scent as well, uh, quite a strong scent, uh, Nivea sensitive again, and the, the uh, number seven men moisturiser to finish. Now I've just looked on the internet and I typed in Silk Road, which this one is, um, and on the website the is um, bergamot, clove, and patchouli. Um, and that also says the um, clove oil has numerous medicinal properties, and that clove is the. To me, anyway, the pr predominant um, scent that's coming through. And I, as I said, I typed in uh, Silk Road just to find out, sort of, a bit of background what Silk Road was. And apparently, it's uh, a reference to the black market and the dark web. So, uh, whether that's um, what the artisan is uh, trying to portray here, I don't know. Mm. When I think of silk, I'm thinking sort of more of a light fragrance kind of scent, um, a bit like um, Wickham's does with their uh, cashmere. Um, right, so 30 second load again, like I did the last one. Let's just put the brush again. Let's see what lather we get from this one. second load. Just take what I had on the side, or lose them around the sides. Stick that in the brush as well. As you see I wet my face already, so let's see what a lard we get from this one.
I would say the um, clove and the patchouli are really strong scents. So for to get a bergamot or bergamot, however you say it, <laughs> um, get that to come through, I don't know. And there are other scents they make. Um, said the Silk Road one. Uh, what's the other ones I've got? Oh yeah, Morning Glory. Uh, that is lavender, lemon, eucalyptus, and Himalayan cedarwood. Ice pack is peppermint, eucalyptus, and frankincense. Um, and there was one more. Oh yeah, Alpha Male. That's uh, that's an unscented one. As you can probably see already, after about 20 seconds of face lathering, I've got a cracking lather here. Feels a little dry still, but I'll add a little bit more water. Look at the brush that lather is just exploding. So it's the end of another another week, uh, end of the first week of the first month of the new year. Hope you've had a good week. Although I've been only working four uh, four nights this week, it seems still seems to. Have Sort of dragged on. I know it's gone fast, but um, I'm just having a close up to see if it's dissipating at all. And today we've got three days of growth. And the, uh, the the price of this is. Um, 20 Australian dollars, which is um, 11 pounds 82, so that's not, not bad. And I also do a, uh, a starter pack, which is the, the soap and um, a brush, which is um, a finest badger brush. It comes in a uh, black resin handle. The loft is 61, uh, the knot is 24, and the handle is 64. So an overall height of um, 124, 125 millim millimetres. And the, uh, if you want the brush alone, that's uh, 35 Australian dollars, which is 20 pounds 68. And uh, if I've not said already, the soaps are 20 Australian dollars. I just said that, yeah, I just said that, yeah. 
um, that the uncentered one is 15 uh, Australian dollars so that will come under way, way under 10 pounds so right yeah lather doesn't seem to be going anywhere so so as I set in three on the progress again And uh, my last video, uh, Alex de Leon um, commented on the feedback from the progress. That's one satisfying uh, sound when it comes to shaving. Check out the uh, slickness on the uh, second pass when I go across the grain. I think I'll do for a, with a bit more water, I think. So uh, drying out here whilst I'm shaving my face. First time you use a new soap, you're not gonna know exactly how it performs anyway. I don't know how much water it can take. I think you've got to have something you can work with first before you can um, adjust those are the water content.
feedback on this. Uh, sounds a bit like a extra hollow straight razor. Obviously, the the higher setting you have on a, a progress, the louder the sound is. Yep, good first pass. I'll put the uh, razor down to two before I forget. Loads are now. With that, uh, that other soap, I had to uh, go back to the park. I think I overloaded this one. Probably only need 15 20 seconds to load on this one. And the, uh, the shipping within Australia is um, five Australian dollars off. Four ninety nine. What it is worldwide, I don't know. And I try to find out um, exactly where in Australia their business is, but um, it said on their website, you know, con if you want to contact us. So I clicked on that, and that just comes up with their um, template for a. Uh, an email. I don't know if you, Chris, um, another cut above knows exactly where in Australia they they produce their soaps. Across the grain on setting two. Yeah, good slickness.
Um, would I suggest this uh, soap to somebody else? Yeah, I would. Um, it really depends on what you want from your soaps. Do you, do you like mild scented soaps? Do you like um, strong scented soaps? Um, and it really depends on the, uh, you know, the, the scent profile. Um, whether anything, any one of those would affect your face. Because um, sometimes people don't um, buy soap with the clove in it because it you know, reacts to their skin. There's a performance slickness you like in your soaps. If that's the case, then yeah, I'd, I'd definitely suggest this one. I uh, messaged um, Nick um, Sorrel Shaves to see if he was interested in uh, reviewing these soaps, this one and the previous one. Because he's more of a uh, reviewer of soaps and razors and brushes and stuff like that more than I am. I'm not really a... I just show my shaves, you know what I'm using, my thoughts and uh, all that kind of stuff. I don't really review anything in particular. Just like a shave and a general chat. You know? <coughs> Rinse the puck out when I'm waiting. Again, if you're a member of the uh, UK Wet Shame Society Facebook group, and you're interested in uh, trying this soap and the uh, previous soap. Um, PM me, um, Facebook Messenger or whatever, and uh, I'll stick your name on the list. Now I've used both, um, they'll be going out early next week to the first person. Once I get the, uh, their addresses of course. Now, once you get a good lather like this, you, that's one less worry, isn't it? You haven't got to spend so much time creating that lather. <coughs> Personally, if that was me, I would dial down the uh, the clove and the patchouli and try and bring out that bergamot a little more.
definitely an efficient razor. Some razors you can use and you can sort of keep going over that same area. But That's what I like about the, uh, the feedback, you, you know, where you need to uh, go over again, if at all. Yeah, very good. I've just noticed that the um, the uh, label on the back there is not a waterproof one. Looks like water's getting to it. You know, if this company's not been gone for long, there's sort of problems that sort of arise. Um, and hopefully they'll listen to their customers and uh, sort the issue out. Obviously being wet shavers, there's going to be a bit of water I don't know. <coughs> water flying about, so... We like to keep our stuff nice, don't we? Try and look, look after it the best we can. Trying to get me Paul H uh, technique down. Make it look so damn easy. Now come to the end of shave, I've got sort of irritation sort of 
burning feeling. Again, maybe due to uh, too much of the clove. Yeah, nice smooth shave. to the soap, which is plenty. Yeah, nice cushion there. Peak, nice peaks. No dissipation there at all. Nice and slick on my face. Got nice, I don't know if you can see. That's a problem with the, this, the lather because it's white. Can't really yeah, you can see a bit of the sheen there. Nice sheen on the soap. Yeah, very good. And a uh, good price point as well. Whether we can get somebody over here, like um, Shaving Station or Shaving Time Company, to uh, speak with uh, Wolfpack and um, hopefully get her a UK uh, supplier I'll put on the thousand see with the previous soap my last video I spent a lot a lot of time trying to create a lather doing that and you certainly don't want to be uh, sitting there watching me do that. So we'll go over these stars of the shave whilst uh, the thousand is drying down. The uh, soap was Wolfpack shaving. This was the uh, Silk Road. Very nice, very uh, strong scent, well performing soap. Um, would that be a scent that I buy? Maybe not. Um, Perhaps one of the other ones I might try if, uh, if they came over uh, into the UK. Um, the razor was uh, Merca Progress short handle, the fourth shave on the uh, Perma Sharp, one of my favourites. And now the uh, Avon Wilderness, Wilderness, Wolves, Wolves, should I say, proper pronunciation. I say not not a matching scent to the soap, but um, I thought it was quite fitting. I've got nothing really else to uh, go with it. I put on a little bit of the uh, post shave balm, Nivea Men. As I said before, the, uh, the, the post-shave balm is to soothe the skin after a nice shave. And I'll finish off with the, uh, the moisturiser from uh, number 7 Men. To put a bit of moisture back into the skin again. Fantastic shave. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please do so. And also click on the uh, the bell to get uh, notifications of my future videos. And uh, 
any comments, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, have some great shaves, have a great weekend. And see you next week for another shave. Cheers, bye.